Hey guys, it's Don here from Novus Bear Gaming and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how to run Steam games natively on Linux using a Steam Play compatibility layer. So let's get started. Much like my previous video that we did on Glorious Egg Roll and installing another compatibility layer that actually helps aid the games perform better or more compatibility, we're changing it up a little bit and running another compatibility layer that actually allows it to run games natively. And the name of this is LexTorpedia. And what it really does is basically finds the FOSS version of the game or fully open source version of the game engine and allows it to run instead of using Wine. I don't know about you guys, but I'm into more retro gaming. I like the older titles like Monkey Island all the way up until like Quick 3 Arena. And a lot of the times Wine just doesn't play nice with those specific type of games that you could actually purchase on Steam. Say like Doom 3 or even Warzone 2100, which is gonna be the game that we're demoing today because it's free on Steam. Jumping over to my desktop uh, and I'll leave a link down to wherever we're talking about today uh, in the description below so you can actually see that it installs like you would selecting at glorious egg roll you would just choose Lex torpedia now moving down um, he actually has a list of games uh, where is this right now supported titles here you go and it'll actually show you all the supported titles that it has and it's running the engine that it's going to be running so like doom 3 it will use dhewm3 or if you're playing Roller Coaster Tycoon or even Quake 3, you'll use IO Quake 3. So those are the open source variants and it runs pretty good on Linux compared to running it through Wine. So popping out of this to install this into your Steam, it's basically like installing uh, Glorious Egg Roll. You just go over to versions, download the latest version, hit OK. And there's a folder that we have to transfer this to. So what I'm gonna do is open my folders uh, control H to unhide. So I head over into that steam then there's a root folder That's where we want to go into and if you don't have the folder called compatibility period D Like so we're just gonna make it so what I'm gonna do is copy this so I don't have to type it out I'm gonna make a new folder here call it that and There we have that folder that we needed compatibility tools dot D now I'm gonna open another file and go into my downloads and expand Expand this, extract this to here, and now I have this folder up, LexTorpedia, and I'm just going to copy this and paste it right into that folder. Now all we have to do is restart Steam, so I'm going to close that out, and I'm going to restart Steam right over here. So one of the things I'm going to show you is basically if I click on Warzone right now and I hit play, it is actually not gonna run. You see this? It tries to run and then it crashes unexpectedly. It's just whatever they have with wine, it doesn't wanna play nice. So I'm gonna right click, go to properties, head over to compatibility, force the specific version, and you see how you can select it? I'm gonna select that, close that out, and now if I hit play, there we have it. The game is working, no issues. Uh, I'm not very good with this game. If I start skirmish, I don't know how to plan these things. Like, do I add a player? Start hosting game. Uh, where do I do? Ready. Power resource. And Power there we go. Resource. Power resource. I've actually don't play this game that much. I know about this game, but I never really play it. And I really like real-time strategy games, but yeah, that's just me. Anyway, closing this out pop in over here just make sure if you are planning to play this check out their list of games and if your game falls under that category it'll be probably worth putting in this compatibility layer because it just makes the game run so much better well that's about it for me there's also another compatibility layer that i do want to check out which actually runs dosbox instead of running wine which also allows for more compatibility with older retro games and i'm going to take a look into that and check that out and i'll be releasing a video on that soon as well anyway I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, please hit that like button. If you guys have any questions about this, hit it down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.